Santa Barbara's fund. It's a one hundred thousand dollar final. Here they come. Then off there goes Heineken by the bay out the lead. It's above me now toward the inside. Then it's clear miss, followed by Bad and Bougie. They make the way into the first turn. The leader is It's Above Me Now, rushing up Heineken by the bay toward the rail. That's clear mist. They make the way over toward the back stretch. It's Above Me Now has got the lead. Clear mist is there, taking back now. Is Heineken by the bay. Once you get in there, fourth moving by inside is Bad and Bougie. Trailers as they race up the back stretch are going to be Johnny Badlands and Dee's Heartland. They went by the opening quarter, 28 and 1, into the far turn. It's above me now. Has the lead by length and half clear. Mr. is there. Two lines to Bad and Bougie. Heineken by the bay was forced back to fourth. They make the way over toward the top of the stretch the first time. It's above me now. It's got the lead. Clear missed. Races in second. Another two lanes. That's Bad and Bougie in third. Heineken by the bay will follow Bad and Bougie right now. Toward the inside, that's Johnny Badlands at the end. And coming out is Dee's Heartland. They went by the half in 57 seconds into that first turn once again. Leading the way, it's above me now. Bad and Bougie races up on the outside, clear miss toward the rail. Heineken by the bay follows as they go toward the back stretch on top. That's above me now. Racing on the outside, Bad and Bougie toward the inside, clear miss. Second over Heineken by the bay. Down inside is Johnny Badlands. Alongside is Dee's Heartland. They make the way by three quarters in 125 and three fifths into the final turn. It's above me now. Leads by length and a half. Clear misses there. Brandon Bougie drops back. Force three wide is Heineken by the way. Inside Johnny Badlands. They come toward the top of the stretch. It's above me now. Opens up now by three lanes. It's above me now. Clear misses there. On the far outside, Heineken by the bay coming through the stretch. It's above me now. Wins it easy. It's above me now is in front. Down the inside, Johnny Badlands takes second. Close for third. Clear miss gets third over Heineken by the bay in 154 and 1. Bay Colt by Southwind Lynx, owned by George Teague Jr., along with KR Racing, trade by Clyde Francis, driven a victory by Montrell Teague, 154 and 15th a lifetime mark, for it's above me now. In the winner's circle, making a blanket presentation, director of the Delaware Stand. For it's above me now takes our first DSBF two year old Pacey Colton Gelding final, first of the four finals this week for two year olds. Montrell, this Colt's really come into himself, his fifth career start here, three straight wins. Tell us about him. He's been a nice uh, Colt training down the whole way. We uh, had a few times where we had to figure him out to make him finish, but um, I don't know. He just got better and better with time, and I think going to the track actually showed him experience, and it worked out today. Obviously, winning the draw, uh, getting post position one, I'm sure it was something you guys were happy to see when the draw came out, and it looked like you were intent on having the lead in there. Yeah, for a certain amount of time. I mean, I, I, if I had the two horse, I definitely would have let him cut the mile and hopefully come down the inside lane and pass him, but... Um, Without him in there, I had to do my own thing, and it worked. Tell us about your thoughts going into the race with uh, Heineken by the Bay. Obviously, he had won uh, four in a row, drawing the outside, uh, and, and then the, the two scratches in here, the two and the, the seven. Did that come into your uh, strategy at all? Yeah, a little bit. I thought Artie, Russell, and uh, maybe Jason Thompson would have been coming out of there, but it made my job a lot easier when they didn't. Montreal, are there any other plans outside of Delaware for this horse the rest of the year, or do you think he'll just go to Dover and compete in the uh, fall series there? Uh, that's up to Deb. I'm pretty sure he's just going to shoot for Dover and just stick with the Delaware Stakes. Montreal Teague winning driver. It's above me now, the $100,000 two-year-old pacing Colton Gelding division. We could use a golf cart for Montreal. 